Well guys, welcome back to another video about the edge of Minecraft. So a bunch of stuff has changed in this 1.8 update and I'm going to be showing you guys stuff about the Minecraft world. So first facts, the edge of Minecraft is at 30 million blocks from zero which ends up being a diameter of a square world of 60 million blocks and uh, yes, the Minecraft world is not infinite. It has an area of 3 trillion blocks, uh, 600 billion and uh, it's very huge and if you calculate that you get a volume of 921 billion block blocks this is actually uh, 409 petabytes if you have a world full of blocks now you can also calculate this in chunks in uh, 1.8 million chunks side length uh, I mean radius and 3.7 million chunks at diameter and finally an area of 14 bill no nope, trillion chunks 14 trillion chunks now, at the edge of the Minecraft world, there's a few peculiar things that happen. So, in uh, this 1.8 update, there is a world border at 29,999,983 blocks. And uh, the land generates up to 29,999,999. And you can actually teleport there in creative. But uh, if you go over this 29 million border, you will crash. Uh, Java stops responding if your player goes over uh, 30 million blocks and you'll see Java stops responding and that's because of an illegal player position which uh, basically no um, no players or land will generate back there relogging will just put you back inside the world where you last left off in a valid position so a couple things that are um, basically known from this uh, world border you can't uh, push pistons through them even though they will glitch out because this is the edge of Minecraft and uh, you also can't use um, pistons to push blocks through uh, these are just simple world border mechanics and um, yeah so basically pistons and stuff like that can't really cross the border in survival unless you uh, use uh, teleport so yeah there's also some other stuff that happens with falling entities so uh, regular moving entities like cows and players are fine, but when you use uh, falling sand or gravel, you'll see that the position is actually incorrect while it's falling. And uh, this is uh, basically just um, some miscalculations in the game. It uh, still falls in the correct position, but uh, when it's falling, it will look like it's falling in the wrong place. And uh, a lot of the other older bugs that happened around the world border with redstone are fixed. Outside the world border, there's still land, but you can't break or place any blocks or entities, even though you can still uh, press Q to drop items on the ground. So uh, the data will still be stored over there, but you can't really modify it by uh, placing or breaking any kind of blocks. So yeah, that's basically what happens at the edge and uh, anything else outside of that does not exist. Um, there's also, uh, if you go into survival, obviously outside the world border you will take damage until you die because that's basic world border mechanics. And um, yeah, so there's no more fake chunks or anything of that and you'll just die in survival. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. Hope you learned something today that was new.